You're a lacrosse player and you want to get more playing time and improve your game. Here are 10 things you can do to instantly become a better player and make any coach want to play you more. Let's go. So nothing is free in lacrosse, except for fakes. Fakes are free and you should use them. Fakes are an easy way to score more goals and deceive your defenders. The two best fakes are the passing fake and the shooting fake. With a passing fake, you pretend like you're passing it to one teammate, which will make a defender move, and then it will open up a lane for you to dodge or pass to another player. Shooting fakes deceive goalies and make it easy to score. Before you shoot, take one deep breath and throw one or two fakes. Watch your goal numbers increase significantly. If you want to instantly become a more dangerous lacrosse player, always keep your eyes up and your stick up. It might sound like a little change, but it will actually make a huge difference in your game. When your eyes are up, you'll be able to find open teammates and lanes that you couldn't see when your eyes were down. When your stick is up, your defender has to respect you as a passer. It looks like you're about to make a pass when your stick is up. This will open up more dodging lanes and make it easy for you to get off passes. One area of lacrosse that I know most people don't pay attention to is recovery. This is the time in between your games and practices where you're not playing and your body is trying to rest and get ready for the next time you play lacrosse. If you're not serious about your recovery, you might not be performing as well as you could be. Luckily, I have three super simple ways to make your recovery better. First off, you need to be drinking at least a gallon of water each day, no questions asked. If you're not hydrated, your body will break down. Get a reusable water bottle and it will be easy to track your water intake. Second, you need to eat protein at every meal. Protein helps rebuild muscle and most people don't get enough of it. You can get protein from lean meats like chicken, steak, turkey, or salmon. You can also use protein powder if you don't like meat. Third, you need to be sleeping for eight hours a day. Not six hours, not seven hours, but eight hours a day. Sleeping is the most important part of your recovery and you need to make sure you get enough of it. I talk a ton about the best lacrosse fitness and recovery tips in my free email newsletter. If you're not one of the 300 people subscribed already, I'll leave a link down in the comments and description where you can go sign up now. In lacrosse, there's not many shortcuts to getting better, but one shortcut I have found is the jump rope. If there's one exercise you should be doing right now, without a doubt, it's the jump rope. Jump rope is pretty much magical for your footwork, conditioning, and muscle endurance. It works out every part of your body, and it's super easy to do. I'll never forget it, my coach told me, Jake, jump rope for 5 minutes in the morning and 5 minutes in the evening. I took his advice to heart and did it for a month. I was a completely different player after that month. Follow my advice and it will happen to you too. One thing that we don't do enough of in lacrosse is communicate with each other. There's plenty of lacrosse games that I go to where it's dead silent. That needs to change. It doesn't matter if you're an attackman, defender, or bench warmer. Communication is key in lacrosse. Call out for the ball or tell your teammates if someone's behind them. Whatever it is, just talk. Getting in the habit of talking will make you more fun to play with and coaches will be impressed with your ability to command the team. I always used to get nervous before lacrosse games and my way of getting over that nervousness was by talking. The second I got into the field, I'd talk to my teammates and the nerves would go right away. There's much more lacrosse on TV and YouTube than ever before, which means tons of opportunity for you to watch more film. One of the best ways to become great at lacrosse is by watching great players, college and pro. Watch a game and focus on one or two players. See what they do with the ball and without the ball. You can take notes and go practice some of their moves. I really like to break down individual plays piece by piece in my lacrosse film breakdowns, and you can check out dozens of these breakdowns on my YouTube channel. I always did plenty of sprints during lacrosse practice, but one thing we always neglected was long runs. Long runs build up stamina, which will help you last the whole game. Pick a day each week where you know you won't have a lacrosse game, then commit for running for at least 35 minutes without stopping. Throw on a podcast or some music and you're good to go. Add five extra minutes each week until you can run for an hour or two without stopping. By going on these long runs, you'll find yourself much less tired during practice and in games. Coaches will always pick a player who's fresh and ready to run rather than a player who's gassed and out of breath. In lacrosse, there's so many fun moves like behind the backs and between the legs 
that it's easy to forget to focus on the fundamentals. Although learning another stick trick is cool, the best thing you could be doing right now is wall ball or shooting. The best players and teams always go back to the fundamentals. I remember going to a Duke lacrosse camp and Coach Donowski, one of the greatest lacrosse coaches of all time, said that Duke players spend almost all of practice on fundamentals. And these guys are the best of the best. If they're doing it, you should be doing it too. Another thing I've noticed in lacrosse is how easy it is to try to get good at a lot of things. You want to be the best outside shooter and also really good at dodging and also really good at passing. Yeah, that's great, but start by being amazing at one thing. Then you can expand. If you're the best dodger on your team, but you aren't great at shooting, coaches can put other players who are better at shooting around you. But if you're just an average dodger and an average shooter, where do you really fit in on the team? I think the first skill to master is outside shooting. There's not a lot of players who can do it really, really well. If you can become automatic from 10 yards and in, any coach will want you on their team. If you want me to personally break down your game and recommend the best things you can master, I do private coaching. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can go check it out now. No matter your position, it's always a great idea to learn how to play basic defense. If you're an attackman, you'll play defense when you ride and try to get the ball back. If you're a midfielder or defender, you're playing plenty of defense already. Even goalies play defense sometimes. Learn basic footwork and how to force your man to one side of the field. If you just learn these basics, you'll be a much better player. Coaches hate when someone is a liability on defense, so make sure you brush up on your skills and you'll be ready to go. If you implement these 10 things into your lacrosse game, you will be a much better player. If you want even more tips like this, please subscribe to my free email newsletter or check out Private Coaching for an even more in-depth look at your game. This is Jake with Lax Weekly. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.